Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial Functional Analysis Class Number 32. In this video, we learn two very very important identities. One is parallelogram law, the second one is polarization identity. Let us see their statements. If x and y are any two vectors in a Hilbert space, then norm x plus y whole square plus norm x minus y whole square is equals to 2 norm x square plus 2 norm y square. This is known as parallelogram law. Second one, 4x, 4 into inner product of x comma y is equals to norm x plus y whole square minus norm x minus y whole square plus i into norm x plus i y whole square minus i into norm x minus i y whole square. This is known as polarization identity. Let us see the proof of both the conditions and both are very very important for our examination. First one. Let us take two vectors x comma y belongs to Hilbert space capital H. Now, norm x plus y whole square is equals to inner product of x plus y comma x plus y. This is standard definition. It is equals to inner product of x comma x plus y plus inner product of y comma x plus y split the inner product it is equals to inner product of x comma x plus inner product of x comma y plus inner product of y comma x plus inner product of y comma y right now this inner product of x comma x can be written as norm x square plus inner product of x comma y plus inner product of y comma x plus inner product of y comma y norm y square let it be equation number 1 in a similar manner let us consider let us consider norm x minus y whole square this is equals to inner product of x minus y comma x minus y which is equals to inner product of x comma x minus y minus y comma x minus y again simplify inner product of x comma x minus inner product of x comma y minus inner product of y comma x minus into minus plus inner product of y comma y again inner product of x comma x norm x square minus inner product of x comma y minus inner product of y comma x plus norm y square let it be equation number 2 what is equation number 1? In equation number 1, we have norm x plus y whole square is equals to norm x square plus inner product of x comma y plus inner product of y comma x plus inner product of y comma y square, norm y square. In equation 2, we have norm x minus y whole square is equals to in norm x square minus inner product of x comma y minus inner product of y comma x plus norm y square. Now add equation 1 and equation 2. Adding equation 1 comma equation 2. What you get? Norm x plus y whole square plus norm x minus y whole square is equals to you see here norm x square plus norm x square so you can write 2 norm x square 
inner product of x comma y minus inner product of x comma y both get cancelled inner product of y comma x minus inner product of y comma x again they cancelled norm y square plus norm y square so you simply get 2 norm y square which is the required result which is known as parallelogram law of hilbert spaces parallelogram law of hilbert spaces it's very very important there may be question like this state and prove parallelogram law in hilbert spaces so now we are going to prove polarization identity to prove the polarization identity uh, first we subtract equation 1 minus equation 2 let us see equation 1 minus equation 2 implies norm x plus y whole square minus norm x minus y whole square is equals to norm x square plus inner product of x comma y plus inner product of y comma x plus norm y square we are subtracting equation 1 minus equation 2 minus inner product of x, x square plus inner product of x comma y plus inner product of y comma x minus norm y square so there may be some terms which are get cancelled norm x square minus norm x square cancel norm y square minus norm y square get cancelled and the remaining terms are 2 into inner product of x comma y plus 2 into inner product of y comma x therefore we get norm x plus y whole square minus norm x minus y whole square is equals to 2 into inner product of x comma y plus 2 into inner product of y comma x let it be equation number 3 this is equation number 3 right now let us replace let us replace y by i into y where i is imaginary unit in complex numbers replace y by i y in equation number 3 so what you get norm x plus i y whole square minus norm x minus i y whole square is equals to 2 into inner product of x comma i y plus 2 into inner product of i y comma x this can be written as this can be written as 2 i bar inner product of x comma y plus 2 i inner product of y comma x everybody knows that i bar is equals to minus i i bar is equals to minus i so it can be written as minus 2i inner product of x comma y plus 2i inner product of y comma x let it be equation number 4 now multiply equation 4 with respect to i multiply equation 4 with imaginary unit i we get i into norm x plus i y whole square minus norm x minus i y whole square i mean here is also there is a i is equals to minus 2 i square x comma y plus 2 i square y comma x 
what is i square everybody knows that i square is equals to minus 1 so it can be written as 2 inner product of x comma y minus 2 inner product of y comma x let it be equation number 5 adding equations 3 and 5 adding equation 3 and 5 we get let us see 3 see equation number 3 norm x plus y whole square minus norm x minus y whole square equation 5 LHS i into norm x plus i y whole square minus i into norm x minus i y whole square so it is simple if you add that the LHS becomes norm x plus y whole square norm x plus y whole square minus norm x minus y whole square norm x minus y whole square plus i into norm x plus i y whole square minus i into norm x minus i y whole square is equals to the left side of equation 3 finished right side what is right side you see here this is 2 into inner product of x comma y plus 2 into inner product of y comma x now the rhs of equation 5 plus 2 into inner product of x comma y minus 2 into inner product of y comma x so these two terms get cancelled one is positive the second one is negative so 2 into inner product of x comma y plus 2 into inner product of x comma y you simply get 4 into inner product of x comma y therefore we conclude that 4 into inner product of x comma y is equals to norm x plus y whole square minus norm x minus y whole square plus i into norm x plus i y whole square minus i into norm x minus i y whole square this completes the proof and this condition is known as polarization identity polarization identity of hilbert space that's it in the next video we learn a definition convex set and we prove a theorem depends upon the convex set keep learning